Well, this is an obvious subscribe. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm testing the Mammoth VST plugin for bass by Aurora DSP. So let's start from its user interface and background story, but always remember that you can jump around in the video by clicking on the Tyco stamps in the description and the pinned comment below. So I have to be sincere with you guys, I never heard of Aurora DSP before. At first I thought that it was an Italian company because Aurora in Italian means the dawn, you know, when the sun rises. But after some investigations on their website, I discovered that it's a pretty new company from Poland and they had just released this great VST plugin for bass. So the user interface is something that I had never seen before. It's very cool, very animal-esque, but seems very versatile too. It's divided into four main sections, input, high, low and output. In the input section you select the input signal level and its cutoff frequency for high and low sections. Then on the top there's the high section where you can choose from three different preamp models and an IR loader. The circuits are the red, purple and blue, based on the V4, the AC30 and the B7K. Then of course the three band equalizer and the melt and brute additional modes for every channel. The melt rounds up and warms your tone while the brute make it become more aggressive. Then, of course, there's the IR loader section, where you have some IRs already, but sure that you can load your own. I guess not all of you have seen this knob here, which is the Mammoth knob. And as they say, it's their secret sauce for more aggressive and transparent tone. Underneath it, there's the low section, where you can set a crushing low end and you can make it growl, which is like a specific control for the low end harmonics. Then of course on the right there's the output section, the final one, where you can mix the proportion of low and high signal to your taste, use the slam to compress the sound and make it fit perfectly in a dance mix. Right, so the signal chain I'm using for this video is this Ibanez SR800, straight into my Focusrite Scarlett 202, straight into Reaper, and let's hear how it sounds. Pretty standard, I must say. Let's try some of the presets. This is the Primal. Godzilla. What am I playing? I don't know. Uh, lambskin. Ooh. Damn God.
piri piri. Piri piri is like a very spicy food, right? Uh, alligator. Corzone. Lemur A red zeppelin. Oh. And last one, symbiotic. Now let me try something like very heavy, so reset everything to factory default and I'm using the red preamplifier.
Alright, so what can I say about this plugin? At first glance, it's great, and you can really achieve a lot of great tones with it. The user interface is great, but of course I had to spend some time to get used to it. There are a lot of options, but some of them are very subtle, they change your sound just a tiny little bit. But, of course, it's great to have all of these selectors, you know, the more the better. Not really sure about the distortion, it's quite strange, I don't know. And yeah, maybe one thing lacking is the sub knob, you know, the very low bass frequencies. But overall, great plugin, great work. Alright folks, this is all for today. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell button to be notified whenever I'm posting new videos or reviews. Also, if you're a metalhead like me, don't forget to check out my brand new instrumental solo album Musa. It's out now and it's available on all digital platforms. I'm sure you'll find some riffs and tracks that you like. Also, don't forget to join my Facebook group MSIMS and VST plugins for metalheads. It's becoming more and more a great community and you'll always be updated for new VST plugins. So thanks for watching, see you the next time!